This movie will give you an overview of the plant tool. The plant tool is part of Vectorworks Landmark and the tool icon is this one here and it exists in the site planning tool set. These tools are also in Vectorworks Designer. Using this drawing as a simple illustration, I guess the first thing to note is that you can use any kind of graphic you want to represent a plant. It could be any of these predefined ones, or all of these are ones that ship with, uh, with Vectorworks Landmark. It could be something as simple as a circle. It could be something like a circle with a gradient in it. It could be much more complex geometry of uh, leaves that you've drawn. It could be a bitmap image that you've imported. You could hand sketch some, scan those and import those into Vectorworks. Really anything you can use um, to create the graphic that you see here in these plants. Plants can contain multiple objects and in these plants that you can see here you can see that there are multiple objects that make up the plants. These ones here as well and you can individually class or categorize the objects within the plants so that you can easily change their color, change their visibility and so on. I'll show you that in a moment. Plants can be placed individually. So here is an instance of a single plant. Plants can be placed in random groups. Here's an example of that. Here's another example here. And you can optionally draw a dashed line between those to indicate, or, or a solid line, to indicate that they are part of a group and they're only going to have a single tag. Plants can also be placed in rows or lines. And here's an example of that. You can nominate the spacing. Here's another example of that. Here's another. Here's another. And finally, plants can be placed in a group like this where you define the boundary of the area that you want to place the plant in. And again, depending on the spacing that you nominate, you will get a single tag that will tell you how many plants are in that particular grouping. Speaking of tags, you can see that all of these plants have a tag and what you display in the tag can be completely customized. Here I'm just showing the plant quantity and the plant ID, but you could show the Latin name, the common name, um, a whole bunch of other things as well um, to indicate the, uh, the name of the plant. The tags are also in a class, so they can be uh, shown or hidden depending on your, um, on your requirements for the drawing. And I'll indicate or I'll show you how that can be done now. If we open the navigation palette and switch to the classes tab, you can see that these plants have got some internal classes and these are those plants component bloom, plants component canopy, colour fill, interior line work, outline and tags. So if I click in the um, hide column you'll see the tags are all going to disappear. Uh, the outline, I can turn off the outline, I can turn off the interior line work, I can turn off the colour fill, uh, I can turn off the canopy and so on and quite quickly turn off the blooms. So quite quickly you can see that you can switch a drawing from something that looks like a, a presentation drawing into something that looks more like a construction drawing simply by turning a few classes on and off in the object info, uh, in the navigation palette. The object info palette displays a lot of information about the plant as well as the ID 
and the symbol name that was used. You've got its height and spread and spacing. You've got the placement mode. You've got the tick style and size, the rotation, whether it's on the plant list, in other words, the schedule, whether the plants are massed, what the outline is like, what the tag is doing, and so on. And all of these things can be edited interactively or for multiple plants at the same time. So I could select, say, these plants here, hold the shift key down, select these ones, and say turn on mass plants, which will kind of group them together. I'll turn that off again. So you can, uh, you can change things by selecting multiple plants at the same time. You can change plant grouping. And by that I mean here I have a group of plants. I could uh, ungroup those and uh, move them around or uh, do something else, delete one of the plants from the group and then um, regroup them. Or if I just want to change the positions of these, you can either use the reshape tool, which is this tool here, and click on a plant and you'll then get a little reshape handle depending on what, uh, what the plant is. So for this we'll get the, the handles here, for this we'll get the handles in the center and the corners and so on. So once you select this tool, I can just pick up a handle and move it and drag the, uh, the, the plants to a different shape. I can add additional control points. So you'll see if I click here I can pull this out and get another control point there to add another line here. I can delete control points. And so on. You can also edit a plant by double clicking. It will bring up this dialog and you can choose to edit the path, which is what we were just doing, the definition, the 3D graphics or the 2D graphic. You can also bring up this dialog by right clicking on a plant and choosing edit. If we choose the 2D graphic, then you'll be taking into an editing environment where you can see the graphic that was used to make up the plant. And here we can pull this apart and just have a look at the various bits and pieces that we use to make up this plant. I'll undo those, put it all back together again. Let's do that again. Edit, this time choose 3D graphics, and if there is a 3D graphic then it will be here. In this case it's an image prop, and this is a, a 3D representation of a plant. We won't go into that now. And finally, you can bring up that dialog and edit the definition of the plant. And in the definition of the plant, you can change the uh, default insertion options, what's going to appear on the schedule, the various render mode settings, and the information that has come from the plant database. And of course the other thing you can do with the plant tool is to list all of the plants that you've used in a schedule. And you'll see that under the Tools menu, Reports, there's a command called Choose Schedule. And if we pick that, and you may want to make this window a little bit bigger, and drag this column across a little bit so you can see the full names. So we've created all these OSCAD ones, the ones we've created and uh, OSCAD plant list separate species with images is probably a good one to use. And if we have this option checked, it will also place a worksheet on the drawing. So if I click OK, and then click somewhere on the drawing, you'll see that we will get a worksheet here that is going to list the quantities. Uh, the IDs, the quantity, common name, botanical name, and if we'd added any other uh, 
um, comments um, in the remarks field or in the schedule size then they would also appear here and you can see that we're getting a preview of each of the plants in our schedule as well. So there's a lot of power in the plant tool and a lot of flexibility in the plant tool. Uh, so please watch some of the other movies that will uh, elaborate on some of these things uh, a little bit more.